Now more Good Day Dakota on KX News. Come back and this is all you find left of all the property you have, huh? Yeah, and then there's stuff way out in the field over there. Wash machines way out over there. It's been nearly 54 years since a string of tornadoes turned some North Dakota neighborhoods into rubble. In the years since, no other tornado outbreak could be called North Dakota's deadliest like this one. We have meteorologist Amber Wheeler here with a closer look at that day and an examination of how far our tornado warning system has come. Well, Josh, on June 20th of 1957, it was a typical hot and muggy summer day, but it ended with terror and with a meteorological breakthrough that the rest of the country would benefit from. Now, the weather conditions were conducive for stormy weather that evening. Five tornadoes impacted a stretch from Buffalo, North Dakota, all the way to Dale, Minnesota. So there was a stretch of basically 70 miles worth of intermittent damage uh, between those two places, but it was an intense F5 tornado that struck Fargo that would damage or demolish more than 1300 homes with a path length of nine miles and a width of 700 feet. This historic tornado injured just over 100 people and killed at least 10. But there are conflicting reports that say the death toll could be as high as 13. Debris was found over 50 miles away from the winds that were estimated to be anywhere from 260 to over 300 miles per hour. Now one man was driving with his family when the tornado touched down and he told a local reporter that he and his family survived by crouching in a ditch. I could watch the storm coming and it looked like to me like a great big hand had come and was just brushing the things over. I saw a chimney start to go and the roof start coming off the top. Then big hailstones started to hit and I ducked my head. I could grab a, a handful of weeds and clover that were laying there in the ditch. Now, luckily, this man and his family survived. The forecasting abilities then in the 50s are unmatched to what we have today. The closest radar on that day was at an Air Defense Command military base that was 205 miles away, and it was picking up only the tops of the storms, which reached about 65 to 75,000 feet in the air. That's almost twice the cruising altitude of a jetliner. To give you perspective on this, a mature thunderstorm is usually anywhere between uh, 40 and 60,000 feet. So remember, the taller the storm, the stronger it is. These were monster storms that ripped through the Fargo area on that day. Now today we have an extensive radar network across the country. This was put into place in the 90s and they are all undergoing upgrades now. But along with more high resolution and sophisticated weather modeling, we are now able to forecast hours in advance when tornadoes and sometimes days in advance when tornadoes are possible and an average lead time of around eight minutes once a tornado warning has been issued before it strikes. Now, due to the visibility of this tornado, it was so well documented that it was able to be studied by Dr. Tetsuya Theodore Fujita, who would go on or what we know as the F scale tornado rating system. With this terms that we still use today, like wall cloud and tail cloud. And since it was so well captured on film, that Fargo tornado was a part of the ground level research in how we rate tornadoes today. That tornado rating system is now known as the EF scale or the enhanced Fujita scale. Josh, the anniversary of this deadly day is this Sunday, June 20th. Wow. I mean, just looking at that old news video footage, I should say, of, of, of the man explaining his hero story, grabbing the weeds. Yeah, and holding on to his children. I didn't get a chance to, to put that in there. He was holding on to his children. His wife was holding on to their uh, their, their daughter, I believe, uh, their newborn baby, which was ripped out of her arms. But the baby was okay. They were fine. Uh, just uh, incredible stories coming out of that day. And this is stuff that we can't forget going forward. Yeah, absolutely. And then the ripple effect with, with the F rating system. Mm -hmm. that, is, um, that is an amazing story. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Amber. Still plenty of news and weather ahead on Good Day Dakota, including a weird.